Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 talks about the, the, the weapons and the uh, armor of God. Uh, every preacher preaches on this at least maybe once a year, uh, maybe sometimes more. Uh, it, it is a great passage to have, and it, it, it just it just fills your your soul uh, when you hear it, and it just it uh, encourages encourages every every saint. And uh, it's it's something you must you must get this one down. If any one to get down, this is the one you need. Again, I'm not reading this. This is something that I uh, am, am just, it's coming from my memory. It goes, like, and, uh, it goes like this. Here's how the song goes. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not struggle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual host of wickedness and the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole arm of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Now, if you're going to say this to a group, it might sound like this. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not struggle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual host of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your ways with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you'll be able to stand all the mighty darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints.